Okay, everyone, so welcome back to Eden Secret. This is Karen again, if you hadn't guessed. And instead of hoping that the um, mixture was going to be the right consistency, I've waited until it's the right consistency. So you can see the piping is a lot sharper. So there we go with my usual banging. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking up and down. And when the mixture's like this, you can just keep going all the way to the top. I just wanted to show it you this way. You could still do with being a little bit thicker, but it's pretty fine as it is. Because it'll thicken up as we're going along. And this is just one of those lovely, fresh, clean scents. Um, you know, oceany, but not piney, not that sort of oceany scent at all. Just a lovely, fresh, clean scent. Very, very well liked in my shop, this one. A lot of people liked it. In fact, for a while, it was my best seller in the glycerin. The melt and pour. I don't know if I told you that as far as the melt and pour goes now, because of the, the amount of time I don't have, I'm going to go back to just buying in the melt and pour. And it's lovely to see people doing melt and pour soaps on YouTube now as well. Because I don't think um, anyone was doing it when I came along. It was actually a bit frowned upon, to be honest. But um, nothing wrong with it. It's lovely, beautiful soap. And it's all about what we do with it. I mean, you can add all sorts to it. Shea butter, oils, silk, butters, anything, more or less. If you do add them, you have to let them cure, actually, um, because it seems to take away the bubbles. Not all of them, just some of them. So we're just going to put the rest of the mixture into the bottle. Try and tip it so you can see what I'm doing. So I take what's left gone into the bottom. You see it goes into the bottom of there, obviously. Some's going to come out of the nozzle. I mean, a lot of people might think this bottle lark is a bit of a palaver compared to a piping bag. It's it's just that I prefer doing it this way. And you see how thick the mixture really does need to be. Sorry, you can't see it, can you? You see how thick the mixture does need to be for piping. And again, you know, I know lots of people make the frosting in totally different ways. Um, I've seen people whisk the butters up first and then add the lye. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. But again, that's the beauty of salt making. If anyone's been to see Pirates of the Caribbean yet at the cinema, I'd love to know what it's like. Because of her reluctance. 
And what I said about swaps earlier, there are people that I've arranged to do swaps with. Of course, I will still be doing those swaps. Um, I just won't be doing any um, any new ones for quite some time. And there is a reason why, but you can probably guess some of you. I'm humming that, um, oh, there's a film on the telly, Willy Wonka's Ch Chocolate Factory or whatever it's called, that's on. And the Oompa Lumpas have just been on singing Oompa Lumpa Dippity A or whatever it is. And I can't get the song out of my head. If you look into the bottle, I think you might be able to see how much soap there is left in there. So we're going to use it up. And you can actually make it fatter in the middle if you press the nozzle right down. Like that. And the only thing with this is you don't get your sharp pleats but because I've got quite a lot of mixture in here I do want to use it all up I think that's the old uh, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory on not the one with Johnny Depp in it most of you will be too young to remember that but at 46, I certainly am not. Oh, I don't like getting old. I really don't. Now then, you see what I've done there? That was because there was an air pocket. So I just knock it back in like that and do that with it. I think you've had the biggest lesson on cupcakes now, so this is probably going to be the last cupcakes I show you for quite some time. Actually, I'd really quite like to start doing some videos on my moisturisers and other products that we have. The Dead Sea Minerals. Again, we have a bit more mixture. So there's still some in there. And there's still some in there. So we'll put that back in the bottle. And put one more pipe, just a teeny one, on top. And if anyone's got any business questions, I'd welcome them. Many, many people ask me about packing their jobs in and could going into making soap bring them well a few thousand in a month and I can promise you it won't not for years it takes a long long time to build up a business and I was just telling someone the other day uh, 